D.C. Police Chief Kathy Lanier says that we should expect an arrest soon in yesterday's triple shooting near Ballou High School. It happened outside a bus stop at the start of the school day. D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford is live now to explain why the chief is so confident about this. Sam? Well, Allison, we are at the scene of yesterday's shooting. The word from the chief of police today was shoot somebody on public space in D.C. and expect the police to come calling sooner rather than later because of the technology. Today, police tried to get young people to move along and stop congregating in the area where yesterday three people were shot. Two 17-year-old Ballou High School students and a 20-year-old former student in an incident Chief Lanier today said resulted from an argument that just rose up, though she was expressing confidence that an arrest will soon be made in this case. You really cannot carry out a crime on public space today and not be caught on video somewhere. And that is being been tremendously helpful for us. So in terms of yesterday's shooting, I'm feeling very confident that uh, we're going to have somebody, uh, you know, in custody before too long in that case. Video showed the commotion outside and one of the victims hobbled inside a store after being shot in the leg. But a number of residents and activists in this area complain that police have allowed dozens of teens to linger here when they should be in school. School had already started when the shooting occurred. This can't have students just lingering around in the morning. We got to start pushing them to get inside the building and get to school. The mothers need to take charge of their children. Otherwise, they're going to have to pay to bury them. The mayor and the chief today insisted juvenile violence is falling despite the recent shootings here and at the National Zoo. And Lanier questioned any strictly enforced crackdown on loitering here. There is a fine line between harassing children and, uh, you know, trying to keep them safe and pushing them off to school. And believe me, we get criticized on both ends. Chief Lanier said that police are reviewing surveillance video from this area and will probably soon be releasing images for the public to help identify a shooter. In the recent zoo shooting, it came out in court this week that police were able to spot a 14-year-old boy that they identified as a shooter on surveillance video. They arrested him on Saturday. Reporting live from Southeast Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. Okay, Sam, thank you very much for the latest there.